Is it okay? Yes, sir. Fine. And then, so in the last topic, uh, we have stopped somewhere. How to open an image, right? Yes. How to open, open an image. image. So, um, is there any uh, doubt of previous class? In the before class, we got to know about uh, what is called graphics. What is user interface? How to save user interface? How to load user interface? Uh, why to customize user interface? Why to use UI? These are all the things which is uh, covered in the last class. And you got to know how to open the software. Just making you a refresh of last class. And then we got to know how to reset the software. Run command of the software. So this is the summary of the last class, right? And in graphics, you got to know a lot of things like how many type of graphics, what are those, which graphics is used where, and what is Photoshop. Just it is a refresh. And which are the industry using Photoshop, like TV, film, web, all these things. Fine. So just to make you a refresh, what we have learned in the last class, that is a concern we heard. Now, and for we'll be proceeding to this present class. How to open an image. So make sure your pen and paper ready so that uh, we can note something. And using a, a digital screen board. So to what are the hotkeys we are using that you can able to note it proper. So around 400 hotkeys are there, 500 keys are there in Photoshop. All these things will be covering up. So take a how you are noting it up. So it will save your time, that is what concern, not to get you confused. So everything will be uh, doing in two manners, uh, like manual way, like very immature way and very professional way. In immature way, just like uh, moving click, click, click and do. And in mature way or in professional way, we'll go through the keyboard. So both the techniques I'll tell you are simultaneously. So make a note. Fine. The first method to get open the image, uh, going to the file menu. Second method, so check to the screen. I'm closing the file. Because Photoshop is a photo editing software, we need to know how to open the file or how to open an image. First method, go to the file menu and ask for open and choose your file whichever is there in your destination on your folder and get it open very simple process in every software they see first method over does it clear yes fine the second method the time you go and open any file in any menu you'll find a very uh, shortest way that is shortcut the software is designed in such a way that the time you go to the any options, you will find uh, the keyboard shortcut on the right hand side. Can you see over here like control O is the hotkey to open any uh, image. So the second method, CTRL and O to get open. Now the next time if you need to make any file open no need to go over here click click aim of the leather just control and o click open is it okay it save your time ah. so you can see now uh, just i made it to know by click buttons now, through the keyboard I'm doing, so within a fraction of a second, it makes it up. Does it clear? Yes. So you can find how much time you can able to save uh, through this method. Because uh, you need to think a lot on the designing side. So this clerical job has to be done very fastly. So at the time, the second method will help you out. Now the third method. 
you know this is uh, like user interface uh, workspace inside the workspace just have a double click that is it clear so what is the third method double click in work area it will open the image immediately third method okay that is it clear because only the reaction will happen on your end. The action is not visible. Just to make it sure, we have written here. Third method, Ardhamanda. Samaj me aaya? Repeat it again, sir. Double click in work area. You know this is called work area, right? This is called work area of the user interface. Does it okay? And have a double click on this work area then immediately open box pop up choose the file open it up is it done first any method whichever the method is comfortable you can adapt Adams method that's it but the method use only but the method key value only is it okay uh, it, it's clear we'll move to the next Hello. Samaj maaya? Sir, sir. Sir. Now the fourth method. Just I will take your approval so that uh, to get a confirm you are getting. That is what my concern. It is not to answer me. Fine. So the fourth method. And the fourth method is uh, drag and drop method. So what you can do, uh, you can go to the hard disk. Directly into the hard disk. So let me show the hard disk. Let's take example. You want to open this image. Just drag and drop inside the Photoshop. Anyway. So you got to know. Still fastest method. Drag and drop. Drag and drop. If Photoshop given this many ways, there is use. Am I right now? Or else they will not make the program to go heavy. So one, two, three, four. Now the fifth method to open a file. Inside the hard disk, uh, yes, you can have to give a right click and switch to the option called open with and choose the Photoshop and get it open in Photoshop. So you have to know the fifth method. Everything written on your screen. And it is a time you need to do the practice. And this thing has to become under your grip. What is the method? Okay. Click. Open with Photoshop. So what do you got to know now? One, two, three, four, five different methods to open an image. Now the sixth method. Just I'm making the information to go right, not to make you confused, to give you the strength. You are knowing all these things. And you can also add up any method, but every method is used. That's why they have given these many methods. Am I right? No. So, how much artists know about uh, the methods that makes him to do the things in different manner? So, the sixth method is a very tricky method. A uh, software comes with a different software called Bridge. Can you ever see Browse in Bridge? Bridge of a special software. Like Photoshop like a software on the MS Paint like a software on the bridge like a software. Whenever you are loading Photoshop, if you load bridge software, then you can find the whole hard disk you can see here. What is the advantage of bridge? So, what is the method we are learning? Bridge method. What is bridge? It is a different software to open the file. It is a browsing software. You can also call it as a browsing software of Adobe company. As if like Windows does have a Windows Explorer, right? This is called Windows Explorer. Where you can also see the detail of the information. It is Windows Explorer. Here you can also see the thumbnail only. Or sometimes some of the information in a list manner. In a detailed manner. But we don't get more information regarding the image inside the Windows Explorer. Is it audible? Samaj Mara? Yes. And artists need the file detail when the suit has been done, which location it has been suited, 
what is the color theme on which file format it is what is the dimension what is the size all the information except this many a lot of information are there inside the photograph so that all informations are not visible inside the windows explorer in windows explorer lo a mattham information kanapadaledu oka image lo chaala information undi camera em use ayindi lens em use ayindi em gps lo shoot ayindi aa any informations that all information is required to a artist so it is uh, displayed inside this particular software can you see now the time you click any image you can find the image detail and it is technically called as metadata ekkada shoot ayindi in the dimension undi so all the which resolution what is color theme everything can able get that's why uh, breeze helps to find the information about the image in very detailed manner sometimes it is required before starting the work so people use breeze to filter the images so now we got to know the first advantage of the bridge what is the first advantage it allow the artist to give the details it gives detail and technically the detail is called metadata meta data file details the second advantage of the bridge in this five method if five method em avutundante ఒక ఫైల్ ఓపెన్ చేయాలి దెన్ మళ్ళీ హార్డ్ డిస్క్ వెళ్ళి మళ్ళీ ఒకసారి సో యూ నీట్ గో టు ది అదర్ ఫైల్ ఇన్ ద హార్డ్ డిస్క్ అండ్ యూ నీట్ టు చూస్ ఇట్ టేక్స్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ టైమ్ అండ్ హియర్ ఇన్ బ్రీజ్ ది హోల్ హార్డ్ డిస్క్ ఈస్ ఆన్ యువర్ ఫ్రంట్ యూ కెన్ సీ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ అండ్ యూ కెన్ యూస్ దిస్ బ్రీజ్ ఎజ్ ఎ సింగిల్ ప్యాలెట్ in the right top corner you will find a small button right switch to compact mode the time you switch to the compact mode it will be there in front of your software itself we can just drag and drop second advantage of the bridge you can see the whole hard disk you can choose whatever the file you want and you can drag and drop inside the software does it clear so now got to know what is the advantage of bridge it and what is called bridge what is bridge it is a exploring software of adobe exploring software of adobe company because uh, adobe company got to know like artists required always to open the files and it kills their time and it make them disturbance again going hard days coming over here so to get rid of this problem they have come up with a software called bridge where a artist can able to use this hard disk uh, as a pallet in front of the software so it will be easy for them to choose the file so compact mode the second advantage what you got to know compact mode it allow the artist to see the whole hard disk in front of the software in front of this after you can able to see the hard disk and you can drag and drop is it okay fine the third method what, what is the third method not third uh, use thing of bridge it allow the artist to filter the image what is the word i'm using filtering so what is filtering sometimes uh, you need to understand like uh, in a practical manner whenever you are sitting on a designing table the client will come with 500 photographs so nowadays taking photograph becomes zero cost if you are having a dslr camera or a mobile you can take thousands of photo without any payment before it was uh, very difficult negative camera was there at every take they are thinking because it is costing so what happens the so customer comes with a lot of photographs and he will be in confuse which photograph print cheyala which photograph me work cheyala then then it's a difficult task he kill his time and your time also at that time you can able to use this breeze and try to help the artist uh, help the client to make it level can you able to see on your screen you can give a rating to this file 
like if the customer is willing to go for this photograph rather than this, then yes, you can rate it up. Then here on the right side of your bridge, you can find a small button and you can ask the software to star and above. Then that only file should be visible. Is it clear? Ardhamanda? Samas Maya? Yes. Just whenever you are not getting, make me stop. Use your uh, like mute button to go for and mute and uh, speak it up so that uh, it's your career. Fine. So here we got to know how to make leveling, how to filter the leveling, and why to do this. Yendu bichala, ila chala. That I made it. Uh, try to make it clear because it is not so used whenever uh, we are practicing. Practice just not time we aim or something. Because uh, there is no pressure, but whenever you are sitting on a designing table, the first problem comes, they come up with 500 photographs. So open this to be scripted there. To get it open itself, it will take time. Fine, so if you can able to understand that problem, then you can able to fill the solution and uh, this will help you out a lot. The faster you start off using the bridge, then you can able to control more photographs in less time. So it helps to make filtering. And how to make filter, we have seen. We have made it level and we have used the filters. Fine. So here we have understood now how many ways are there to open an image. Okay, file open chain key, six method we have seen. Is it clear? Fine. So let's move into the next one. Once the file is opened, the first challenge, uh, or not, not like a challenge, how to handle the file. Uh, every file does have a name on the laptop corner. Can I want to see here the name of the file? And a particular gray mark comes over there. And as if like you can able to handle any window on your screen, you can able to handle this image also. Just drag it up here then you can move anywhere you like. This is how you can able to make an image to move from a fixed condition to a movable condition. Does it clear? Okay. And it is very practical. And what is to be done after the class? Uh, just make a note. Uh, uh, because uh, it is to be in there in a note, what are the events we have learned? How many method of opening the files? What is this? What is the advantage of bridge? If these questions are there, then answers should be there from your end. Then yes, the class reached proper. Now the next, we are learning here how to handle an image. The first thing you got to know how to detach it from the attached stage. Now, again, you can have to drag and drop to attach on the screen. So detaching, attaching, and closing and opening. So all the events done. Now we'll be switching to a little professional way. We'll use some keyboard shortcut and I'll write down here and you can note it and after the class have a hand on exercise on your system. Once the file is open, the first hotkey you can try called tab. It will make the screen to go for clean. The toolbar and the floating window get hide. What is the button? Tab button. Which button? This button. Once you hit this button, in the last class also you have seen something is hiding and showing. And what is that something? Toolbar and the floating window. Does it okay? Thomas Maya? Is it clear? Just I'm taking your approval because reaction is only visible, action is not visible. Yes, sir. Fine. So now got to know what is tab and what is the use of it. What you can do with this? Hide and so toolbar and floating window. So the topic is very clear. At every instant, we have written all the things. 
what is the things you have learned means how to open an image what are the different method means six different methods when to use which method and what is their advantage that also you got to know and here we have seen the first keyboard shortcut tab to hide and show the toolbar and floating on this next hotkey now as if like i made it to know like 600 keys are there it's 500 to 600 I'll make a note on your front the second hotkey is f what is the button f it make full screen check to the screen tab only f and hit the f it will make full screen with menu bar it make full screen with menu bar this is first f the second f again if you are hitting the f it will make full screen without menu bar without menu check to the screen second f no menu bar no name everything full screen with blank screen is it clear now to back to the normal stage again you need to hit the third f back to normal is it clear so three time f has to be used to make the screen to focus proper again back it bring to the normal stage everything written if you have written then only you can practice or else practice also cannot be done this is fact so nothing to get worry if you cannot able to practice so just note it up and see the note and do practice is it clear now just i'm focusing more i'm writing every icon on your screen to you can record it up or else you can take the print screen at least so that do practice by seeing the note and it is very difficult to remember also i do understand if you are remembering very nice but i can't able to remember all these things in that way i am speaking tab f f now the next command so this is the three times uh, hitting tab but we have learned only one and two hotkey now the third hotkey ctrl plus control plus plus it allow the artist to make zoom in is it okay plus plus so what is the button control plus this plus button so check to the screen we are just using control and plus what is happening it is zooming the file is it clear same way control minus control minus control minus control minus is it done so you can have a hand on session also and make a note so two hot keys more you got to know ctrl plus minus zoom out So you can see on your screen, control plus, 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 minus, minus, minus. You are not learning more, just basic things you are learning, A, B, C, D only. And it is to be under your control. Zoom in, zoom out. Is it done? And all the things are written. Now the next hotkey. CTRL plus zero button. Which button? Not O. This is zero. It will fit to the screen. Fit to screen. It will make the image to fit the screen. Done. So this is control zero. And we have learned before one hotkey that is called control plus O. Control O means open the file. Open image. Does it okay? open image and zero different o different so just i have written side by side so that you can able to have a comparison 
So catch to the screen now. Um, on your screen, the reaction will be happening up and you are not getting, stop the class. No need to get worried. Don't feel anything. No need to think of others. Think of yourself. Stop the class. Ask it up. Feel free and let it be on your command. Control minus, right? Control plus. Control minus. Control plus. Control zero. Fit to the window. Is it done? Tap button. F. F. Control plus. Plus. Minus. Minus. This is the things which makes the professionals to get the screen under their control. Starter rarely use this. And professionals make the maximum profit by making the user interface under their control. Till now it's okay. Now switching down to the next hotkey, seventh. Whenever the file is in a full zoom condition, then use D space bar, hold space bar. The biggest key inside the keyboard. You can hold it up. So it will temporarily turn into a hand tool. Hand tool, temporary. It will turn into a hand tool. Is it clear? What to do? Hold the space bar. Catch to the screen now. When, and condition, what is the condition? Whenever it is in zoom condition, whenever in full zoom. So if it is in full zoom, then you cannot able to see the whole image. So at that time, use this space bar, hold it up. Don't hit, hitting where holding where Hold it up. Then drag it up. You know to see? The screen is under your control now. Fine, check to the screen now. Tab, F, 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 full screen mode. Control plus, control minus, control zero. Hold the space bar, drag it up, drag it up. Bring your image under your control and you can do the operation now. Again, to bake it to the normal stage, use the tab button, go for control minus, control zero. No need to get panic. Everything written here, need to like note proper and see the note and do. This is what your exercise of the day, because you can able to understand now, uh, once the software start, how much uh, detail uh, it will be. And this is what to be done. And we have not start up learning any tools also. Just initially we are handling the interface only. While handling the interface, this much of things are there, which is used by the professionals. Is it okay? And our Kardamanda. Till now it's clear. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fine. So yes, let's sir. move to the next part. Minus plus. Now, one file handling is okay. Let us find out uh, where this. Uh, if I forget all the hotkeys, sir, then how to handle the file? This is a question, right? Then some of the hotkeys key uh, like tools are there. I'll show you that. So where these buttons are there? There is a small button on your key toolbar. Can you see the toolbar? In the toolbar in the last down, there is a zoom button. And this zoom button allows you to get it maximized, maximize, maximize. And beside to the zoom button, there is a hand tool. It will allow you to pan it up. So we have seen what is the manual method and we have seen the professional method. Both the methods are there with you. So here you can also, uh, we have introduced to now to get it zoom in, zoom out. There is a lens like tool. There is a zoom tool. 
and there is a hand like tool this is technically called as zoom tool and hand tool the hotkey is h and this is z so again two more hotkeys we have introduced whenever you feel like it is to be get activated this hand or zoom then you can hit the button called z then zoom tool will come up you can move it uh, positively or negatively wherever your cursor is there there it will get zoom up and if you need to move the file use the keyboard shortcut h h for hand and you can move it up is it clear so we have understood professional way and the manual way both way to handle the things so now we have understood the eight number hotkey and nine number hotkey what are those z zoom tool h hand tool is done only h only h and z so here the things are uh, under your control now and uh, the uh, full screen mode and all is here the button so this this button could be used to get into full screen but sometimes once you switch to the full screen mode the keyboard uh, the tool is not visible so you need to remember that f button only then only uh, you can handle it uh, in a professional way so there are limitation of the uh, tools uh, on your screen but uh, professionally a lot of uh, hotkeys are there which makes the job easier and it has been noted on you so what are the things till now we got to know the summary we got to know how to open an image how to handle an image how to full screen an image how to pan an image move panning what are the different tools which handle this fines so th this is a basic thing which is required every day whenever a photoshop artist is working so basic hotkeys has to be get remember and that goal has been done up we can make a excel of it uh, so that uh, we can take a print out and put it on your desktop till the time it is not under your control but once you it come on to your grip then no need to see it up immediately you will do the things like this okay just i'm showing you uh, once it becomes a habit then yes it save your time that is what uh, a concern back go fine so what is the task to be done now make this keys to be check individually meeru system mede yanni check cheyandi photoshop open chese work outunda leda if it is not happening you can ask me in the next class also fine now we'll be handling how to handle multiple files what is the topic now how to handle yes multiple files multiple file ela handle chair single file it is okay but uh, the customer comes with 200 files and he want to see all the things in a uh, on your screen to take a decision so if you open like this in this method click chair say open this and it takes more time so how to handle multiple files you just have a double click select all the things by dragging and go for open very simple you got to know like how to open multiple files but what is the challenge comes now all the images are one above to the other and you go on showing like this ipudu ila show chese em avutundante customer third image ki vachina velu first image eight ki marchipothundi మళ్ళీ బ్యాక్ వెళ్ళు ఫ్రంట్ కి రా ఇలా చెప్తే చాలా టైం వేస్ట్ అయిపోతుంది ఏమ రైట్ సో హియర్ యూ గట్ నో హౌ టు ఓపెన్ మల్టిపుల్ ఫైల్స్ బై డ్రాగింగ్ అండ్ సెలెక్టింగ్ ఆల్ ది థింగ్స్ బట్ ద ఫస్ట్ ఛాలెంజ్ కమ్స్ క్లైంట్ కెన్ నాట్ అబుల్ టు సీ ఆల్ ది ఫైల్స్ ఇన్ ఏ కంపరిటివ్ మేనర్ బట్ ద టైం వి గో ఇన్ దిస్ వే దెన్ హి ఫర్గెట్ ఆల్ ది ఫైల్స్ నథింగ్ రాంగ్ ఇన్ ఎనీ సో బట్ హి కెన్ నాట్ అబుల్ టు టెల్ షో మీ ఆల్ ది థింగ్స్ టుగెదర్ he will tell like go next go back ala chapter chaala time waste ayipothundi 
So what is the things to be done of how to arrange all these files uh, one beside to the other? What is the task now? How to arrange the files one beside to the other or one above to the other in a comparative manner? The first uh, action we can able to adapt is like drag the image out. From the stock order, you can able to drag it up out. So it allow to have a comparative uh, thing. Yes, if it is one or two or three, it's okay. You can able to show them in a comparative manner by moving it, uh, by holding the uh, status bar or the name bar. Or else you can able to make it control minus, 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 minus and uh, get it uh, small down from the corner and get him so. But if it is 500 photograph, it is just a half day elbow, half an hour only zoom in, zoom out, change elbow. At the time, this method will not do work. So what to do, go to the windows, switch to the arrange, ask the software to go for float all in windows. First action, over. Kemchala, windows, arrange, float all in windows. It will make 500 photographs to get detached first within a fraction of a second. So how to make a note? Windows, arrange and float all in windows. And windows, arrange, float all in window. It will immediately make the file to get arranged one above to the other. So this is the action will happen. Is it clear? Still, uh, it is a temporary solution, but it is not a permanent solution. You can always show them uh, one behind to the other, but they want everything to be beside to each other. So now we got, we can go to the next method. What is the next method? Switch to the windows, go for arrange, ask the software to go for tile. Ardhamanda, is it clear? So you can unmute uh, your uh, uh, like speaker and uh, if you want to speak me something, you can do it up there. And it's okay? Uh, Okay, sir. Yes, fine, sir. Fine, fine. So let us uh, understood uh, how to make tiling. What you have understood now? How to make tile? What is the option? Where is the option? Window. Arrange. And here you need to go for an option called tile. It immediately make your 500 photographs to place beside to each other. Right, so all the photographs will be a, in a, a tiling manner. So here we have seen how to handle double file, and after this open, what is the next challenge? Uh, you can find the images are beside to each other, but we cannot able to see all the image, right? All part of an image because it is in very zoom condition. Now what is to be done? Already you have learned. What you have learned? How to zoom out the image? How to zoom out the image? Control minus. Does it clear? Yes, sir. And either you can only use control minus or else we can adopt the next method. And what is that method is like? Uh, on every image, uh, okay, it is not visible uh, here clearly, just I'm closing it up. Uh, you'll find a Percentage bar. Can I see a percentage here? 66 percent, 66 percent. You can dra drag down the value to a smaller value, 12 percent or anything, and you can see it up. So we have understood now how to see the whole image in two methods. Either you can change the percentage, or else you can switch to a hot key method that is called control minus. Or the third method. We do have a zoom tool and get it minus. 
सो इजी थ्री मेथड टू मेक ए फाइल जूम आउट दैट वी हैव अंडरस्टूड हियर वट आर दोज जूम टूल हॉट की जेंट कंट्रोल माइनस एंड द थर्ड मेथड dragging down the percentages low the percentages so everything written you only need to put any pressure on your brain and brain me the ek aim pressure this can also the only open pressure this can be just note change note choose practice and zoom out just we will make you feed all the things like spoon feeding now you need to think for design so all the technology is very easy everything written just it should come into this it's one two days game for you so initially it will be difficult so switching to note and coming over here it will it will make you impatient but once you get it up then you can play with the software so castle skin now control minus 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 but yes it is not like one or two okade rendu kaadu 500 undi ee control minus minus chesthe kuda chaala time padutundi and ila percentage down chesthe kuda chaala time padutundi then how to handle once one of your image is set then no need to do all control minus go to the windows button switch to the option called arrange and ask the option called match zoom finish 500 photographs within fraction of second everything come into a single zoom level done at the mind up yes sir so we got to know now how to zoom out all the image what is the option windows arrange match zoom what happens with this all the images come into a single zoom level you can see the full scope image of everything but before to that you need to load down the zoom once you load down the zoom uh, you can get it into the proper uh, zoom for all so just uh, don't write anything on your screen so it is reflecting everywhere <coughs> fine so um, so three actions we have understood from the windows nano how to handle multiple topic is very clear how to handle multiple files everything we have done through the clicks now we'll be switching to the professional method till now we have not adopted the professional method how to handle uh, the thing in a professional way so let us move to the screen what are the task we got to know that is clear so let us let me close all the files sir i just joined the class sir can you repeat what happened today yes, sir yes, yes. so we have not started anything regarding the software just we are learning how to open the file and how to close the file how to handle the things everything written here only you need to take a print screen and have a try so again simultaneously i'll doing it up once more check it up so what are the things we have learned uh, and we have done now four thing we have done what are those let us uh, note it down we have opened the image second we have made it float then we have made it tile then we have made it zoom out then we have made it match match right okay so these are the things we have done till now opening the files making them sort up get them tile get them zoom out and make all the photographs zoom to be is it okay these are all the things we have done 
one minute it's a disturbance i'm just muting all uh, like i hope you are getting my voice uh, but uh, i made mute all because some disturbance uh, still like if anything is there uh, we can make it clear I'll, I'll give a break and we'll make it clear and these many things we have done through the options and all the options are written there now we'll be adopting the professional methods through the keyboard shortcuts the first action is done by ctrl plus o am i right control o check to the screen go to the file menu switch for control o and go to your destination wherever your file are there it's very simple you can find it out in your hard disk now to select all the files you can adopt two method either you drag like this or else switch to the button called control a now the next hot key you got to know to get it open then after the action we have done here is ctrl plus a to select all the files or else you can drag all drag or uh, select by dragging you can write select by drag this is one method you can adopt or else you can have to adopt control a if particular then you can use control or shift button to get a particular image in this way you can have to make select then we are using a button called enter once it is done then just press the enter it will get open so we have understood now how to open an image within fraction of second within 3 second you can open 500 photographs it save your time just my goal over here is to make your time to get them because your time is precious your time is value so this will help you out at every time once you are starting photoshop then you will be adopting this then the next method what getting it float so to get it float where you are moving you are moving where it has been written go to the windows menu arrange float all in window now going over here arrange float in all so it takes time so how to do all the things through the keyboard shortcut what you are learning now how to open arrange through the keyboard shortcut just hit the alt button can you able to see on your screen the menu bar come up with a particular alphabet underlined oka particular alphabet underline ayipindi kanapadutunda dikhai de raha hai aapko just i'll make it unmute so that you can speak me yes sir hope like uh, this could be done by the command called alt the time you use the alt button then immediately your menu bar uh, will come up with a underlining so whichever the menu you want to open uh, use that particular hotkey let us take a example like window menu to be get open then you can find w is underline then w is the hotkey to open the windows menu is it okay and here where where we need to move we need to move to the arrange and you can able to see now the arrangement is equipped with the alphabet a underline hit the a now it is the time to go for where tiles or cascade whichever you want if any it is having some underline alphabet then it's okay or else you can use your navigation arrows to make float all in window you can use this so again once more i'm doing alt w a minutes alt w a and use the navigation arrow and do this so we have understood now how to make the float in all window without clicking so what is the hot key so practically you need to make it hit and i'm writing it also alt then w then 
A, then B, up and down arrow. Sir, what is floating, sir? Windows tab, sir. Ah, yes. Hello. Sir, floating is nothing but Windows tab, sir. What is it, sir? Ah, floating means making them to get uh, release from the attached stage. It is detached. You can move it up. That is called float. Okay, uh, uh, or else we wouldn't detach the photos, sir. Uh, we couldn't do uh, it. Yeah, without doing this, you need to detach. To de get it detached, it takes more time. 500 photographs are there. If you go on detaching, it will take more time. So you can adopt this method to save your time. Is it clear? Okay, sir. Fine. So we have understood now how to make the plot all in window. Uh, please uh, make mute uh, your. Uh, Microphone, I'm getting sound over here. It is a disturbance for all. So get respect all people's time. Fine, so we have understood now how to make them release within one command. Then how it save your time by which command we have done this. Alt, W, A, and use the navigation arrows to reach to your command. So it is done. Now the next ask, how to make them getting tiles. Tiles means getting arranged one beside to the other. That is called tiling. Does it okay? And uh, floating means what? Getting them arranged one above to the other. That is called float. So to get it done, it is there inside your Windows menu only. And to open the Windows menu, what is that task to be done? Hold the Alt, go for hit the W, go to the arrange, and now you need to go for the tiles. So let us check Alt, W, A, and use the navigation arrows and hit it up. It saves the time. We have shown you the manual method and the professional method. We have not entered into the software, just how to open an image that is only webbing. And the screen is on tile manner, and it is a time to go for what now? Zoom out. And you know what is the hotkey? Control minus, minus, minus. So switch to the option here, then zoom out. CTRL plus minus, zoom out. Once one of the file is zoom out, then what is the next task? Matching the zoom. Matching the zoom option where it is inside your Windows menu. Inside the windows where and the errands. Inside the errands where match zoom. Then how to do this without using it through the click button. Once your image is set, then go for Alt W A and you can able to see match zoom is having a hotkey. What is that hotkey? Convert the match zoom key. Of a particular alphabet key underline on the underline word 80 underline alphabet 80 Z match zoom key Z underline in the so it is the time to train our eye to see the things first on a Kaluki convert on the other first training you so don't mind my language just uh, whatever the alphabet I know I'm just trying my level best to reach you up in Telugu Fine, what is the alphabet? Z. So hit the Z on your keyboard and everything set. Fraction of second, everything gets set up. Is it okay? Now the note. What is to be done up? Alt, W, A, it open the arrange and Z button. So all the things we have written manually how to do and professionally how to do on this screen. Everything written. Click wise it lala click chale the keyboard me the illa time save chair. So only your task is to make the screen under your control and get them to be uh, professionally uh, on your working style. Fine then now it is the time to get it close. How to close an image? What is the topic now? How to close an image very clear. 
once you open the file then now it is to get close how to close Ah, that is what I am saying. How to close? Closing of the image can be done again in three different ways. Closing three different methods to change. First, in every file at the right top corner, you can find a cross button, click it there. And the second method, you can go to the file menu, ask to the software, close it up. And the third method, while you are closing, you can find the keyboard, you can use it up. So you got to know now, three different methods to get it close. Use the cross button, go to the file and close. And second and the third, to get it close, CTRL plus W. Now, how to close all? how to close all it can be done within one fraction of second with the keyboard shortcut ctrl plus alt plus w this is the button which can allow to close all the files in a single click or else we can only go to the file menu and ask to the software close all done close all. Is it clear? Now, the summary, uh, what are the things we have learned inside the classroom now? How to handle the user interface, full screen mode handling, image opening, image arranging, and uh, Windows menu handling, getting file open. Sir? Yes, sir. Sir, uh, if you don't, please don't mind, sir. Can you repeat what happened today from starting to? Uh, like, that's what we, uh, because I just joined the yes, class, sir. Okay. Uh, I received it late, sir. My okay. mail. No, it's just, it's just nothing. Is that okay, sir. We have done only three things, and here I am refreshing all the things. We have started. Okay, sir. Thanks, sir. We have started class, so everything written. You can take this Excel uh, like. Uh, Okay, yes, sir. I'll, I'll record it, sir, but please once explain yes, it, you know, sir. Please, we have done the summary of the class. Now we are almost closing the uh, session. Uh, how to open an image? The six methods going through the file menu and open. Second, control O. Third, double clicking on the work area, which allow to open you know, the files. And you can drag the image from your hard disk and drop inside your software so it will open. Or else you can give a right click on your photograph and get it open with Photoshop. Go for the command. Or else you can have there is a special software called Bridge which is there inside your software on the file menu. Open in Bridge. This is also a way which allows the artist to open the image. But what is the advantage? Here it is a software you need to load while loading the Photoshop. Then you can find a very big window where all the metadata of the image will be visible. You can see the detail about the photographs. Second, it allows to get uh, this particular hard disk to be a part of your user interface so that you don't need to go double click and go back and come to the software. No, you can drag and drop directly on your screen. Third, we can able to give rating to the photograph. And then after you can able to filter it up as per the requirement. So these three advantages of the bridge, this is what we have understood. Then we have entered into the next processing, how to handle a single image, getting it uh, full screen mode and hiding this toolbar and floating windows. Then basic hotkeys we have learned like how to zoom in, zoom out. And then after we got to know how to handle multiple files. This is what uh, happened inside the whole class. And that, that is what the summary. We have not entered into the software also. It is the fourth day. So nothing to get Ori if it is not attended anything also. But henceforth, uh, you need to be a, a little careful because a lot of technical things will be coming up. So. The summary is uh, there on your screen uh, and you can, I'm saving this file also, 
if you need me to okay to get it uh, take a image you can take a image also or like print screen also yes It is very small, but I don't like how to get it open. Uh, just I'm closing this. Let me. This remote button is not here. Okay. So now your screen is uh, pick up with uh, the, the things, whatever we have learned. So you can take a print screen of it. And make a good notes of your own, because it is a scribbling note of me. Sometimes like I may have written uh, some wrong spelling also. But once you check, then only you can confirm all the things are right. Is it okay? And then anything you want to ask me of any doubt. So what is the task to be done up? Open the software, get all these keys uh, is working or not check. And uh, make huh? multiple files to handle. Yes, yes. Yeah, tell me. Uh, yes, yes. Your voice is not clear. Okay, anything you want to speak me, uh, you can speak now, or else you can this session. Sir? Ah, bully. What language are you comfortable, sir? Uh, like, whichever the things you want, uh, we can go for it. Because if you are, like, if you are comfortable in a language, we'll be learning extra, no, sir. It's not extra uh, no, or something no, in detail, no problem. I guess. You can, you can go for English, Hindi, Telugu, Odia. Bengali. Uh, no, sir. We, we just know Hindi, English, and Telugu, sir. Okay, so fine. So I'm, I'm using that only. So nothing get on. I'm just saying, sir, if you know, if uh, like, you, you feel, what language are you comfortable? Uh, yeah, I, I'm okay with uh, all these three. Oh, cool, sir. Okay, sir. Uh, I, I, sir, I, and again, sir, uh, every day class will be four to five only, no, sir? Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Because, uh, I mean, I, I I just missed the class, so I wanted to know. Yeah, four, four to five. five. Okay, sir. So that I'll contact to the Pixel group. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, sir. Uh, any any more questions? So, will I close? Yes, sir. Fine then. I'm stopping the things. Uh, nice to meet you all. So, okay, sir. Stop. Stopping this. Yeah. Thank you.